M0FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXB, so let's set up the FTM 300 for APRS. So we're on APRS FI here, and let's get you showing up uh, as I am. So uh, watch the next steps. M0FXB, just uh, turning on my APRS on the FTM 300. So we're in dual receive here. We're on the B band. There's A, B, B and B then we we programmed in our frequency. You can see the frequency there, one four four eight hundred. Now to change the volume and the channel, we're using the bottom knob, rock knobs right and left. So we've got it, the UK one four four eight hundred, and you can see that the APRS emblem is showing that it's turned on. And I'll show you how to to select the B band first. So hold down the F. Go turn the the top knob till you get to data, select it, and then data band. You've got a lot of choices here, but I've just selected B band fix for APRS and data. So let's uh, back out of that. So next we'll just hold down the F. We'll turn to APRS and I'll show you all my settings. So we'll go right to the top. So APRS destination, I haven't changed. APRS filter, all on. APRS message text. So I've got no messages in there, but you can add a message. Let's just select number one. And let's just put in hi for now. There you go. Let's back out of that. So we, oh, we need to save it, I think. Yeah, to save it, you just hold in the, the, the channel knob. Let's go back. APRS modem. So look, number four, on or off. So you want that on. And when it's on, you'll see like a little circle. I'll go back out and show you. See the A here with a circle on the sub band. That's what you get. Hold down F, go back into APRS. APRS mute, that's if you want to hear the packets. So I, I do like to hear them, but I just keep the volume low. So you can turn that on or off. The pop-ups, what information and how long. So I'm going to turn all of them on. So my packet, and then we've got 10 seconds. Uh, so that, let's go back. APRS ringer. I've left that default, that's all on. APRS Ringer CS. I should know what that is, but I actually don't. I'll let you know if I remember. So it's blank, but it's some sort of message that you can add. APRS Ringer. So I think you get a sound, I think, when you receive a message. APRS TX Delay left that default to 250 ms at the top number 10 APRS units so you decide the kind of units you like I've left it all default in kil kilometers and minutes you can see there we're receiving a load of APRS at the time so let's beacon info Again, I've left it as ambiguity off, speed and course on. I just think I'll turn the ambiguity on. Uh, I think what it is, that is the accuracy, so I'll leave it off. Then we'll move to number 12, beacon status. That's my settings there. I could add a text, couldn't I? Just try it, text. Uh, let's put frequency, squelch and shift. We'll select that. And we can again just put a message. Put hi for now. And then we'll hold down the button. Okay. Number 13, beacon TX. So at the moment it's on... Um, 
automatic TX, you could just turn that off. Like so, pushing the button. I've got it on every five minutes. Go back. Digital path. You've got the wide one and wide two. That's the usual one. I'll leave that. Is that the, it's written at the top. Digi 15, Digipath 1. Again, I haven't touched that. And 2. I haven't touched any of them. Don't really know what they mean, to be honest. I've left all them default. Callsign APRS, so that's important. So I've got M0FXB. And then you decide... Um, what number you want, I'm using number 9, so when you look on APRS FI, just look for number 9, put in your call sign in number 9 and that will show up. We'll have a little test in a minute as well, see if we do show up. Message group, so you can have groups for all your messages and when you look in your message list. Message reply. So let's just turn that on. There you go, we'll leave it at that for now. Reply text, we just put hi for now. Call sign out, will it automatically put that in there? Let's have a go. We're gonna go M, oh it looks like we have to do it, so let's do that. All right, we've got that in there, so we'll go back. My position set, so we've got manual or GPS. I think I have got a lock at the moment, so we'll leave it at GPS. But you could set a manual position if you can't get a lock. And then look, here's where you would set that position. Like so, look. Let's go back. My symbol. So yeah, you get to choose the symbol you like. Just select the one you want. Position comment, off duty is what mine says, but you can change that to en route and in service, things like that. And then you've got custom ones here that you can actually pre-program. Just put off duty for now. 28 smart beacon in that says off I'm going to turn it on actually no I won't turn it on but anyway there's your choices as you push the control knob it, it changes the choices sort filter that's what I've got Voice alert, that's my settings, don't really use that. So there's a lot of settings here, so we go back. So everything's turned on now. So you've got just another menu, just briefly press the F. You've got the APR, scroll down to APRS. And I've got my beacon on. Now I can, if you want, you can go to Beacon TX, push the the knob here, and it will TX if we're on the right band. That is. Oh, it's prohibited probably because there's not there's not a GPS lock at the moment. Yeah. Now this is an interesting one with the GPS lock, um, which shows the GPS signal at the top on the FTM. 300 if you've got a lock you can see the emblem but if you haven't got a lock, you see nothing so um what we could do being that we've just lost our lock we can go back and tell it to use manual gps and then we should tx then we've got a little circle here so that is all enabled and we're on the b band so we're back into the main menu we've gone down to position number 24 we've got my position there and if we look at 20, 
Tw that's 25 shows a position, 24, select that. And look, now we're on manual. If you go back, then push F, then select APRS function with the channel change. Now it's highlighted in red, just press it. There you are, and it's just TX. See if I can turn it up so you can hear it. I'll do it again. APRS. And uh, it's text, you can't hear it because I must have silenced it, but you see that it, it text APRS because it's doing it man with a manual position. Now, if you want to see the list of ones that you've received, press the F again and then APRS. And then look, you've got a choice here with message list and station list. So there's message list, we haven't got any at the moment. Station list. And there's all your station list. And when you get APRS, this is what it looks like. You get to you can scroll the knob and look at more information. Go back, and these are the ones we've been receiving this morning. So you've got weather, kilometers, rain, all sorts of information there, depending on what what they've turned on. Let's back out and then just wait for some messages, and you can simultaneously receive um, fusion and FM analog at the same at the same time on the A and B. If you want single receive, I think you just push DISP here. Oh, there's one just come through. You decide how long the pop-up is there for. So display, if you just want single receive, just hit display and then you get the scope. And there you are, there's a station coming in. But um, if you want the full details, I just leave it like that. So yeah, hope this helps. 7 3, all the best. So basically we're in APRS mode and we can uh, transmit to myself, which I can do now. So we're just, that's me texting to myself. Now you're not seeing it because I've already received it. So we just go FM, F setups, AP, um, APRS, station list. And then we can select me, that's me. So it's all coming through and at the same time, we can go back and let's see if we can find uh, just a normal channel that's coming through in my memories. So there's, you can see now, just showing you, you're receiving normal FM analog repeater. And at the same time on the sub band, we've got APRS coming in as well. 73 thanks for watching so just to show you that we're on APRS FI here I put the link in the description and we put in M0 FXB-9 here M0 FXB-9 hit search and then we go to here and the time now is 9:27 and here it is, 9.27 here, M0FXB9. So we're showing up on APRS FI. There you go. Hope this helps. 7.3, all the best.